my cart like taking off without me? Where does my cart think it's going? I know sometimes these nuts and bolts sculptures can be pretty good. Are you guys seeing like a lady's head wearing like a bandana? Okay, what have we got back here? It's uh, sushi, sushi trays. I was looking at this. I know it's meant to cook something, but wouldn't that make a beautiful pot for a plant? I've been a reseller for nearly 40 years, and I can't imagine my life without thrifting. I've learned about a lot of things over the years, and I love to share my knowledge and adventures with you. So let's go be profitable and make it fun. Well, our wacky weird weather here in Las Vegas has us back up into the 90s. I don't understand it. My tortoises don't understand it, but they're kind of loving it. Uh, but anyway, I am, <laughs> I'm here in the sunshine at Savers. I'm here on a day that is supposed to be some kind of a discount, but I don't come here often enough to remember what the discount is. So uh, I will find out as soon as we get in the door and I'm gonna look for some really good resale items at a discount. Let's get shop done. All right, let's get inside and find us a lucky cart. All right. So it is 30% off for seniors today. Yay! Right in the door, I found a horse. Oh, he's got damage. That's too bad. He was really pretty. You know what? There's a color tag too I should figure out. Oh, I do like the uh, Grand Canyon photo. That's pretty cool. All right. Oh, that's really nice too. All right. Let's see. Let's... uh. Look through the smaller art. Smaller shippable art is more of what I want to be finding rather than big giant art that I have to deal with unless it's like a mid-century turtle. Uh-oh, let's get that down. It is signed on the back. This is interesting. It has a mid-century vibe. I'm not sure it is mid-century, but it's uh, kind of fabulous. I don't know where I will put it. But, oh, it's all good, it's all good. Then I spotted this guy. So this print is, it's signed and numbered. It's got a number of 750. Generally, I like to find a numbering of under 300. It's really, really desirable, but under a thousand is still pretty good. Keith Griba, I think is what we've got. And it is pencil signed. Pretty, it's pretty awesome. So it'll be 30% uh, off of that $6.99. We're gonna grab this guy. My house, my remote. <laughs> I'm actually the only one who watches TV. Kids don't watch, well, they watch TV with me sometimes, but that's a nice little, looks like a 70s, 80s little landscape print for $3.99. I don't know, I'm just not feeling that one today. Pretty generic. And then there's a seascape down here. Let's see. Ooh, let's turn you over. It's in browns. Why is my cart like taking off without me? Where does my cart think it's going? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> All right, back to our piece of art. It is signed Stevens. I don't know how I feel about the brown tones for a oceanscape. Oh, we got on the back here. That's just uh, something to do with the canvas itself. So there's not a lot of discoloration. So it's not that old. The frame is a just a made in Mexico frame. It could be 90s, 2000s. Uh, when I say old, I'm like talking 50s and earlier for like to really start getting that discoloration. Ah, you know, I like it. But again, I'm, I'm going to be a little pickier today and I'm going to leave it. A little block print of poo. You are. I need to do my Disney sale. My Disney sale is going to happen. I think I am going to schedule my Disney whatnot sale for Monday, Monday the 16th. Monday the 16th. When is this video coming out? I'll make sure this video comes out before then so you know about it. But Monday the 16th will be my Disney 
whatnot sale. This is really beautiful. Grasslands Root, Grasslands Road, $2.99 with the little sparrows. I can sell that for probably about $12 to $15, so I'm gonna pick that up. This is kind of a cool print. You can see it was sold at our local auction house. Just one more chapter. That's fun, that's fun, but not what I'm looking for today. Just got a little honorable mention. Oh, Family Circus. Didn't we see something like this at the Goodwill recently? Wouldn't it be better to retire from your work now while you can still play with us? Aww. That actually makes me a little sad. Would you like a little fatherly advice, Billy? Can I hear it first? <laughs> All right, those are awesome, but again, we're gonna leave it. Okay, I always peek through the dolls. Generally don't find anything that is something that I would like to deal with. I'm sure like there are some of these that are, that are great resale dolls, but just not for me. I'm a, I call myself kind of a doll snob because I actually have a collection of the early 18 or late 1800s, early 1900s bisque dolls. Um, those are where my heart lies and what I look for. Someday I'm going to find one in a thrift store. I'm going to do it. So I saw something that caught my eye back here. It's this little blue jar. Oh, it's, I don't know. How do I feel about you? You're kind of nice, kind of little speckled glaze. It looks like it could be just a hobbyist piece. I hate when they tape and you can't see. I've learned my lesson. To, if you're gonna buy it, you need to see the ridge because that's usually where you're gonna find a chip. Okay, there's no chips. It's a nice little jar. I wouldn't want to pay seven, but I could pay five bucks. I feel like I could pay five bucks for that because it's blue and blue is super popular. So I'll get that. And let's see what other goodies are on the shelf. What's this puffy, try me? No, nope. do you work? Nope, you don't work either. New batteries, I'm sure. That's pretty cute. $10. Oh, what are you? Your little coaster. I am a spring, I'm a spirit something in a physical body. I have no idea what that says. All right, let's keep going. Hopefully find some really good glass or pottery. That's what I'm always on the quest for. These are nice, vintage, not super exciting though. Fossil original. Well, probably held a watch when that was new. Ooh, I like that shell. Ooh, I like that shell a lot. So this is a polished abalone shell. Uh, so what they've done, you can see this looks like you normally would see an abalone shell. This part has the roughness polished off. Now, I don't know if this is a red or a green originally. It's kind of beautiful for uh, $3.99 minus 30% though. And that's a piece, I'm not sure if that'll end up in my own collection or I will resell it. If the value is there, I will resell it. If the value is not there for resale, that will end up in my collection. I know it's about time for me to start sharing some of my collections. I've been waiting for some video that isn't uh, super long so I can add it on to the end. So this just might be that video. So be sure you do stay all the way to the end because you never know what you're going to see at the end. I don't, um, I know sometimes these nuts and bolts sculptures can be pretty good. Um, he's kind of fun. He is a drummer. Hmm. Seven dollar drummer. Of course, he's minus 30%. What is the math? What did I say? Like five bucks then? He's like five bucks. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and get him. I don't think we're going to have any problem filling the cart today. In fact, I may have to get a little bit 
more discriminating on what I put in the cart so as we don't get too much to deal with. Got a little seasonal section here. Is that another garlic keeper? Oh, you don't have a face on you though. I sold the last one already. Someone asked me what anthropomorphic means and basically Anthropomorphic items are items that are take on a human quality, uh, but they are not human. So fruit and animals and vegetables and non non animate objects that you know they get a face, they get like a human face, they become anthropomorphic. So that is the definition. All right, I don't see. Too much here. Okay, we are in the office supplies. The shelves are pretty full, but if you needed a frame or a photo album, this would be the place to be. We don't need either of those. Why do I like this guy? Why do I like him? He was 75 cents somewhere, and now he's 3.49. Nope, don't need him. I feel like somebody just set these back down there. Butler's Pantry by Lennox, $2.99. It's a nice pattern. A lot of people don't know that uh, Lennox does make more than just like the white and gold vases. They have several lines of china and other things. Ooh, what are you? Oh my gosh, you've got some weight to you. You are Costa Boda. Yes, I do like you for five bucks. Costa Boda in the cart. All right, let's hope maybe it has a friend. Do you have a friend? I don't know, those are kind of pretty. There's a lot of them though. Capraware, $5.99 each. The big ones are $7.99 each. They're really pretty. I just don't know how much Capraware is worth. Nice little amber glass candle holder. Definitely needs a friend for me to entertain picking that up. Oh, let's see, you're kind of cute. Please be mine. You're a 2003 somebody. Let's see, Robin Russell, 2003. I don't know Robin Russell. I think we're going to leave that one. All right. All these Jingle Bell looking candle holders are fun. Just got my Halloween stuff out. I'm not ready to think about Christmas decorating yet. That'll be fun. I'm going to have to go through all my Christmas stuff just like I did my Halloween and get rid of a lot of it this year. I'm okay with that though. All right. Now we're, looks like we're in the metals see if anything is a standout. What are these? Little towel hooks. These look like Pimpernel, but they are damaged and don't have their original box. So those wouldn't have much resale value. Oh, that's a nice little box. Look at the little legs on this. I like that. Unfortunately, there is there is a knob missing. That's too bad because this one's kind of cute. It's a Melee, M-E-L-E. -E. Kind of a nice, nice jewelry box, but we're gonna leave it. It's a nice little vintage box hang it on the wall. I don't know what you would put in it, but I like it. I mean, it's kind of handy. It's got the little, little rattan insert there. I feel like, I feel like that's worth picking up. I do like selling the little wood boxes. I've sold several of them over the last couple of months, kind of been on a roll. So my, my eye is a bit geared towards it. And that happens too, is you have something that you purchase and you sell and then you purchase and then you sell and you go, hey, now I need to be on the lookout. And so your brain is kind of geared then 
to look for those things. And uh, you can be a little eagle-eyed then when you're uh, in the shelves finding stuff to sell. Okay, this is Noah's favorite section. All of the fakery. They always have quite a selection of baskets here too. This, this store in particular. Some older ones. That one's pretty worn out though. They gotta be old, but they can't be worn out. I have found that to be true. And I'm not seeing anything too excited in the fake plants. I almost always find something interesting in their vases. Like, that's kind of cool. I kind of like that one. It's Wanda's bowling trophy right there. Little blue guy. Strawberry is somewhat interesting. Not very high end though. Pass on him. What are you? You are certified, inter right? Is that certified international? It looks a little, I see international, I just assumed, but it looks almost like something else. Sue Zipke, Zipke? Hmm. I feel like that's possibly, possibly a good piece. We'll throw up a comp right here. Okay, that is cool. That, oh, what do they call this? Is it a crystalline glaze? That is a great piece right there. Even though it is made in China, uh, it's still beautiful. It's got the blue. It's got the the crystalline glaze. 849 minus 30%. We're grabbing that one. Yep, I almost always find something cool in their vases. That came from Home Goods. It's a cased glass little vase candle holder. It is 749, so it'd be like five bucks. I love the color for this time of year. That's why I'm looking. It's a little dirty, so it's probably looking a little dull, but it is glass. That'll clean up and shine up as a $5 piece that I can turn into probably 20 to 25. I'm going to pick that up. Are you guys seeing like a lady's head wearing like a bandana or a hat? I feel like that's, that's the image they're going for with that vase. I could, I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but that's what I see. All right, pet supplies. I actually, I have one of these and I soak my little uh, Priscilla in it when she needs her little soakies. Cause that's what you do with tortoises. You give them a soak, making sure they stay hydrated. Okay, what do we have here? With all the veggies, I like the veggies. Product of China, dip chiller. I would say dip chiller. Oh, so would you put like ice under here and then your dip? Ooh, I like that. Gourmet Village dip chiller. And you know what? This is one of those pieces. If it is not worth reselling, this definitely could come in handy when I throw one of my parties. I see a really nice butter dish back here. Ooh, little blue bowl. Let's get to the butter dish who makes you go that way go that way and let's pull you out $6.99 it is not marked but it is oh so blue oh so blue and functional we're gonna grab that oh and I see another one this one has bunnies it's in good shape oh William Sonoma that's a good name in household items. So we're gonna grab the bunnies too. Okay, what have we got back here? It's uh, sushi sushi trays from CB2. Oliver Sushi Appetizer. He's like playing leapfrog over the sushi. Those are kind of fun. I'm gonna look those up. 
Oh, these are good. These are good. You're going to have to stay to the recap and find out how much they're worth. But there's three of them at $2.99 minus 30%. We're getting those definitely. Okay, let's see. Nice little teapot. I don't think it's that old. Let's look. Not marked. It's metal and it's got some rust. Rust definitely not good. And got a little fish dish. Does not look very high quality. Yeah, just made in China. No name on it. Cynthia Rowley dishes. Those are very cute. Ooh, I like these as possible base pieces for some of my projects. It's a nice size. I mean, they could be worth, they could be worth also reselling. We won't know till we look them up, but I'm going to get them either way. An old little fondue pot that has definitely seen some better days. I'm not sure what these are for. There's like two vases and a bunch of dishes. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Oh, there's a green one too. And then there's this creamer. Hand painted, made in Japan. A little bit of wear to the gilding, which is pretty common for these type items. That one's also only $3.99, and I do get that 30% off. So let's pick that up too. I see something down here that looks interesting. It's a little hotcakes, waffles, batter bowl. It's got some crazing going on. Oh, it's got a lot of crazing going on. I don't know who makes that. I think we're going to pass because it's kind of big. Oh, I found it syrup friend. I wish I knew who made these. I wish I knew. Here, let's put you by. Let's put you by there. Maybe somebody will pick you both up. All right. General cooking, 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 cooking wear and small appliances. You ever do that? You ever have, like try to get a word out and it's just your brain has different ideas about how that word should come out of your mouth? Man, it happens to me all the time. The, uh, the thing is, you guys usually get to hear it since I've usually got a camera rolling when it happens. Ooh, little Kachina sitting here. Unfortunately, his little arms are all broken. That is, that is a shame. He would have been nice. more pots and actually not pots and pans baking baking ware oh i know what i need to find that we don't have and this would be the perfect place to find one is a dish that my kids can make some banana bread no that's not quite right that's not quite right i need like a i need that right there that's what i'm getting the little pyrex dish i was looking at this i know it's meant to cook something but wouldn't that make a beautiful pot for a plant? It's really got nice colors to it. $7.50, so that would be like a little over five bucks for that piece. Mmm, torn. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's got a chip. All right, chip's gonna make me leave it. Okay. Now, my kids just need some overripe bananas. That's easy though. I, I buy bananas and uh, usually most of them go overripe because I don't eat them consistently. So I just, I just have to get some more bananas and go through that process again. Okay, come on. I'm not the only one. True confession time. Tell me in the comments. Do you throw bananas away too? All right, now we are in the bowls and plates. Not gonna be a whole lot of tempting things here for me, unless it's like some cool glass. No, you can, okay, I, I held on to this. I was hoping it had some weight and some substance to it. Super light for its size and it just, it has a cheap feel. So that's when I'm picking something up and putting it back down, that's what's, going through my head. These are vintage. They look, they look like Franciscan apple, but are they? There's three of them. They're not marked. 
They would be saucers. Now saucers are generally a hard sell without their cups. Oh, there's four of them. I think I'm going to leave them, but look at this. I'm gonna put the four of them over here to make them super desirable for somebody else who's looking for four of those. I've been selling a lot more plates lately and remembering how much I really dislike dealing with plates. These are interesting recycled glass. Again, I look at things differently. Like this would be really cool as an underplate for a little potted plant. There's a couple of them, so you could you could sit there and you know have a couple of them coordinating. There's a whole little set here. Those are kind of nice. Oh, hello, my old friends. Hello. And there's a bear. Who makes sure you? Hello, bear lunch plate. Oh, it's a Daiso. A little Daiso plate. Not very high end. All right, now we will check out glassware. See if there's anything exciting. I've got some glassware sets that I've purchased that I have not sold. So I'm, I'm like rethinking my glassware purchasing because it is a more difficult item for me to sell. Now, if somebody specializes in, in it, it might be super easy for you to sell, but uh, each one of us has to go with our business model and what we experience in our customer base and our following and all of that. So it is something that can be built up. I think an all glassware store would be pretty fabulous actually. I love glassware. I love, I love this stuff. Look at these. These are so great and I'm really having trouble leaving them behind except that there's just three and that, uh oh. No, never mind. There's four. Now I can't. I can't do it. It'd be like $7 for a set of four and I bet I can get about 40 for them. Okay. Nope. 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 It's got a chip. That one's got a chip. It's got a chip. Put you up there so somebody will look a little closer. All right. I'm going to leave them. I know. I'm going to leave them. And I look up and I'm torn again. Do you have a chip? Oh no. Now I'm back to a set of four. Okay, in the cart they go. And then we'll look through the coffee mugs just a little bit. See what we've got. Illy Espresso, Expo Milano 2015 official coffee partner. Those are interesting. They're made in Italy. $249. A little fascinating, I must say. Let's see. There's two that are that pattern and then there's one that's this pattern I wish there was another one with this pattern look at it. it's got little deer on it that they're deer there's deer on those these are these are intriguing let me see if I can do a little look up okay I did just a little bit of research enough to know the, these are intriguing and I found some more I found this one has like looks like a torso on it um, I'm gonna go back over to the plates and such and see if I can find uh, the little saucers that would go with these so they'd be 30% off of that so we're talking to like I don't know what is that like just under two bucks a cup and I'm gonna learn a little lesson about these and I will share that in my deep dive at the end of this shopping adventure all right, it was not to be, but it was definitely worth looking. They're, they're fine, just as little espresso mugs, but this I thought was a table runner at first, but now I look and it's like a little table cover with these little meshy, I don't know the correct terminology, meshy applique fall leaves. It's, it's beautiful. $4.99. That I am going to grab. And let's see what other softies we can find because at this store I always forget uh, I should bring my own boxes and wrap. I do have a box in the car. I do have that. 
but I don't have any paper, so hopefully they still have paper. This is fun, a little how to cook a turkey and carve it. I'm not sure exactly what it's for though. Hmm. I like it. Let's see. Who makes you? Be a good giveaway too. No, nope, doesn't say. It's 100% cotton. Is it like a tea towel? Is that what it's supposed to be? I feel like I feel like that's pretty cool. I'm going to get it. I do like placemats too. And when I find a set of six, that really gets my attention, especially when they are cute and very like folk art. Pickwick Flower Farm. Six of these. And there is two, two for $2.99, and then four for $3.99. So that's four, five, six, seven. So about five bucks for a set of six. Okay, that's just kind of fun right there. Twisted stays put with sewn in loop. I have mixed drinks about feelings. I think, I think Jordan's getting this one. She doesn't watch my videos, don't tell her. This will go in her Christmas package. All right, no pillows are really calling to me. But let's go over here and look in the bathroom stuff and kind of a little mishmash down here. All right, there was nothing exciting down there. So let's take a peek over here. Mm. Nope, nothing exciting. How about baggy wall time? Well, I made it all the way to the end, and I gotta tell you, there was just nothing exciting on the baggy wall. I would have shown you, I promise. Ooh, the jewelry case does not look very promising today. But let's take a peek. Mm, okay, nothing. Oh, there's rings. Anything exciting in the rings? Nope, nope, nope. Okay, there's more cases. All is not lost yet. Let's see. Mm, that looks like a newer brooch. Mm, nope, nothing, nothing exciting this time. Okay, one more case. If I miss something, give me a holler. That's a little bit interesting with all the little pottery beads. And there's like fish and then pottery beads. I mean, if I could get somebody over here, I might look at that one. It's a little intriguing. But that's like the only one really calling me. And I don't think it's worth enough for me to sit over here and try to get somebody to come open the case. Ooh, I like those shoes right there. But I can't tell what size they are. I think they say seven, seven and a half. Darn it, too small. Oh my goodness, I wonder if Jordan has need of a backpack full of corgis. It's a little dirty. It's a little dirty. I can justify leaving it because it's a little dirty. That's guess. Okay, I'm gonna take a quick peek down the purses and see if I can find anything cool. Sometimes, sometimes they have some good ones here. They have a lot. They have a lot of purses. Not a ding darn thing in those purses and I went through. Not even really anything to show you. So, we're going to hit a couple more sections and uh, probably check out. Even though I don't do a lot with toys, I do always look through the toy section. I am looking for vintage. I'm looking for Briar's Horses for Rachel. And I'm just looking for anything that just might be a zinger. But... I'm not seeing anything today. And generally this section is pretty picked over by resellers because it's a it's a genre that a lot of them sell things in. But it's not it's not my main niche. Alright, one last section here is where they 
keep all of their lamps and large items. So we take a peek. Zed for Ot. What is that? Make your family happy with Zed. HD experience. I have no idea what that is. Huh. Oh, my. Okay. Hmm. Nothing too exciting. Mm. Nope. Nothing enticing over here. All right. We're going to go ahead and check out. Stay tuned for the recap. I will tell you everything I bought, how much I paid, and how much it's worth, including some of those things that uh, were a little intriguing. So that's coming up right now. Okay, Bouge, I think this is going to be the last time we do this. Oh, he wants to groom me. The last time we're going to do this on the regular videos. So this little deep dive section is going to be moving to members only of the Niche Nation. Thank you. I don't have to crouch down when you get up there. Um, just there's a few different reasons for that. Uh, some of you love it. Some of you hate it. I look at statistics when I'm making decisions. And um, a lot of people are clicking off at this point. So uh, what I need to do is in order to continue bringing you this content, I have to move it to a format that doesn't affect my regular YouTube algorithm. And for that, I have the Niche Nation membership, which is a very, very low cost place to go and get more information, especially you resellers who wanna know more about reselling and interact a little bit more that way. So this will be our last deep dive on the regular video. So if you've been clicking off at this point, but you stayed to listen to this message, I have heard and seen what I need to see and, and that's just uh, what happens sometimes. That bougie. Oh, he's finding pistachios. All right, so let's talk about the goodies that I picked up. Uh, we got the little kelp print here. I'm a sucker for really nice animal art. Keith Griba is the artist on this. It's a number 111 out of 750. So it is a limited edition and it is what they would call double signed. So it's pencil signed here and then also has his printed signature there. It's not a super expensive piece, about 25 to $30 on that, but it's really super cute. And super cute sells quickly, uh, just like with the birds. The birds, this is not an expensive piece. It's the journey through life is meant to be shared. It's from Grasslands Road, and it's a little it's a little plaque that you can hang up. It's got a ribbon for hanging it. This is about a $15 to $20 piece, especially since it has little birds on it, and everybody loves little birds. You hear that, Bouge? Everybody loves little birds, just like you. I'm also a big sucker for things that are blue. So we picked up a few blue things, including this little jar. I do believe this is a hobbyist piece, but the glaze is done really nicely. So it's a hobbyist that's been learning their craft really well, and it's a nice resaleable item. Oh, I haven't been giving the prices that I paid. That's because I haven't done the math yet, because everything was 30% off. Uh, so $6.99, da 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 Seven times seven, it's four. So four dollars and ninety cents is what I paid for this, and it's worth twenty to twenty-five. This abalone shell would normally have had like a rough exterior here, either a red abalone or a green abalone, and then this is what you're used to seeing as the polished abalone on the inside. But they polished off this side, so this is what it looks like when they take off that rough exterior coating. And this is also, a lot of times you'll get jewelry that is mother of pearl, and you can see how they derive that as well. Uh, so I love abalone shells, whether they are for resale or not, and I usually pick them up if they're a good price. Uh, $3.99 minus 30% was a good price for something that'll sell for 20 to $25. This is the time of year people are looking for unique gift ideas and these nuts and bolts sculptures definitely do fall into a unique gift giving realm. Uh, 
not a super expensive item by any means, 15 to 20, but it's a great bread and butter item. Y'all often hear me talking about bread and butter items. Most of my business is made up of 15 to $20 items for the most part, and I have to get those for under $5 to keep the, the uh, profit margin that I need to keep my business running. So a lot of things I buy are in that 15 to 25 range, and I call those my bread and butter items. This is a piece of Costa Boda glass. It is an Anna Erner oh. collection, and it's known as Cool Moon. There it is signed right there on the bottom. You can see the swirls in there. It is a super beautiful piece that should sell for 20 to 25. And again, I paid about five bucks for it. This is just a really nice little vintage wall box. I don't know what would originally been held in here. Maybe like matches. I don't know. You tell me. It's very 70s and uh, it's a 15 to $20 item. Then this caught my eye. This is a crystalline glaze and you can see there it's very easy to spot a crystalline glaze piece. There are some makers that are very, very expensive. This is not one of those. It's just a nice decorative piece. It's got a little crazing and a little, you know, a little, little uh, manufacturing kind of a boo-boo there because it was a made in China piece. But still, I like to pick up really nice decorative pieces like this. And this one will still sell for $25 to $30. Same with this. This is not Murano. It's not anything like super spectacular. It's just a really pretty piece. And it's orange, which this is the time of year for orange. Uh, it would have been originally found at like Home Goods. And people will pay, that decorate their homes, will still pay really good money for pieces like this. I gotta do a little more cleanup on it. I thought I got all that, but ooh, it's a tough one. I gotta get that off of there. 25 to $30, uh, if it sells like this, this next couple of months, the fall season. After the fall season, it may be a little tougher to sell this piece, we'll find out. But uh, 25 to 30 is what we are gonna put it up for. So if you're wondering why I do a range of the pricing as, as opposed to just giving a price, um, that is because I have a price that I start at and then I have a price that I discount it to if it doesn't sell within a few weeks. And I do that over on the MissLadyShop.com. So um, that is why some items you'll see it has a sale price and then some items that are newer that have just gotten on there don't have a sales price but they will if they don't sell. So that's kind of the range, right? Why, you want to talk all of a sudden until I want you to talk. I swear, he's part cat. Now, I'm sure I knew dip chillers existed, but I hadn't really thought about it. It's kind of a gourmet thing. This is a super fun piece. I love it. You put the, uh, the ice down here, you put your dip up here, and uh, there you go. It was only $13 when it was new, but that could have been some time ago because it still brings 15 to 20 on the resale market. And then let's just talk butter dishes. Now you know why I picked this one up, because it's blue. Look at that, it's beautiful. It may end up going in my kitchen if it doesn't sell, which I'd be perfectly fine with, 15 to 20 on the blue one. But this ends up being a Williams Sonoma. And Williams Sonoma is a brand you wanna be watching for because their things sell for high-end dollars. Now, he is bunnies, which probably will be easier to sell as it gets closer to Easter. Uh, but nonetheless, people do love bunnies all year long. This one's 15 to 20. This one's 40 to 50. And then these guys, I looked these up in the store because I just had a feeling these were something special. Uh, they are known as Oliver Sushi Trays and they're CB2. These are from 2014 and kind of make a, I, I washed these and that got a little crumpled, but it does say Oliver on there. There are different patterns. Apparently this person liked this pattern, the uh, person playing leapfrog over the sushi uh, because I have three of these. I have three of these and they are worth 15 to $20 each, believe it or not. And I bought these because I thought if they are not worth reselling, they're definitely worth making some of my a little assemblage. Assemblage, I like to say it that way. It's fun. 
uh, pieces with. So um, designer, designer bowl, even though you can probably find this at Home Goods, maybe even Target, I'm not sure where Cynthia Rowley is from, but it's a well-known name and uh, these will sell for about $40 for the set. Maybe 30 to 40 because I only have three and that brings it down a little bit, but 10 to $12 a piece basically. The little creamer was just again one of those pickups that I just felt felt compelled to kind of give it a little rescue. It is a vintage made in Japan. I'm going to place this as about 1940s. It's got a little bit of wear that's not chipping. It's just a little bit of wear to the guild. That's pretty normal. But the rest of the painting is absolutely beautiful. And this will sell for $12 to $15. I usually am drawn to any of the glassware that has the swirls. Uh, it's usually a Pier 1, Crate and Barrel, some high-end classy glassware. These are Pier 1. And I paid, let's see, $249 minus 30% for each one of them. But I can get 40 to 50 as a set of four. And I almost didn't pick them up because I found the chipped one. But then I looked up and there was another perfect one. So we have our set of four. This was an interesting purchase for me because it's not like the normal thing that would call to me, but uh, I did look these up in store and these Illy Espresso, these art collection mugs, uh, some of them sell for hundreds of dollars. It's probably like that whole like Starbucks culture kind of a thing where certain ones are sought after. I have not actually looked up each one of these yet. I did enough research to know that I'm looking at a minimum of $15 to $20 per cup. Uh, I wish they had their saucers. I was not able to find their saucers, but this was this was still a good, good purchase at that price, $249 minus the 30%. Definitely happy I picked these up. I'm just laying this piece out on my bed so you can see the size of it. It's not quite like a tablecloth. It's more like the top of a card table size. And it's got these little mesh cutout things with these little applique fall leaves and then it's crocheted all around. It's really a nice, nice piece for someone. And I'll get 20 to $25 for it. And this was just a fun, it's a dish towel, it's 100% cotton. Uh, it's not your normal dish towel because it's got like this binding around all the edges. It's a fancy dish towel, but it's got the entire uh, how to cook a turkey kind of recipe from like step to step. Uh, cooking a turkey without drying out the white meat isn't as hard as it sounds, but it does take some practice. First preheat your oven to 325, determine the cooking time, remove the outside wrapper, rinse the bird inside and out in a shallow roasting pan blah 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 hold the back of the carving fork against the breastbone and slice diagonally through the meat like this is cool i like it it's the appropriate time of year to have picked this up it's worth about eight to ten dollars but sometimes i just pick something up that's super easy to ship and super fun and then you know i like placemats especially when i can find a set of six these are all the same they are this folk art kind of print here, like a tapestry. It says Pickwick Flower Farm. And they got the horse and the buggy and the, the flowers. It's really, really a fun. Like you could use these in the fall. You could use these in the spring because it's got a little bit of all of the color variations there. I paid, uh, let's see, there were $2.99 and $3.99. So a total of like five bucks when you take the 30% off. So about five bucks for a set of six. They will sell for $30 to $40. And the turtle art, well, you know the turtle art was here to stay. It's very mid-century. I have not figured out the artist or anything on this yet. We're looking for a place to hang it on the wall, but yeah, yeah, he's staying here. So that wraps up our deep dive. Now, again, if you really like these deep dives, make sure you join the Niche Nation membership you do that under any video or from the channel main page. There is a little join button. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like two, $2. I have three levels, $2 and $5 
uh, that will get you some extra videos, extra info, extra lives, extra like deep dive stuff. Yes. And so that is where you will find the deep dive type videos going forward. Thank you. If you have watched to this point, I appreciate you ever so much. We will still do our regular summarized recap that I've always done. That's still going to be there. Um, yes. Yes, and all of the items will then appear over in the nicheladyshop.com if there's something you'd like to purchase. So uh, bear with me. I have a teenage daughter who it is her job to get those items photoed and over there. And uh, you know, sometimes you just, you can't control the uh, time frames of a teenager. But we work hard at it, uh, don't we moms? <laughs> all right, everybody, and that's gonna do it. Go be profitable. And make it fun. Make it fun. Oh, we're still going to work on that.